Do you know that that form and ritual is a substitute that is caused by a vacuum when the heart turns cold before God? Did you know that as long as a church can feel the joy of God, we don't have to have the ritual? But what happens? Before you know it, the high churchism takes over, uh, over in Amos, the book of Amos. The Lord looked down and he said, I hate, I despise your smelly feast. You, you have your offerings and you, and, and I know it's sweet smelling frankincense comes up, but your heart isn't in it. I hate it. I despise it. And then, and then they played beautiful music and the Lord said, oh, that stinks. Take those smelly songs away. I can't stand them. Why? Because God wants your heart. I suppose you young couples, um, you um, were out and, and on a on a date, and uh, and so you look at her and you say, "Oh, how how beautiful you are! You're so lovely." And she says, "Holy, holy, holy, boyfriend Almighty! Oh, all thing, all hamburgers come of thee." Amen. Amen. Oh, uh, that wouldn't move you. It might move you to another girl. And that doesn't move God either. People oftentimes come and say for the house, <laughs> said that, you know, said that, hey, your church is different from ours. Everybody to his own taste. No, no, that isn't it. This church is not built on my taste. This church is built on the Bible. And the Lord said, oh, that stinks. Take those smelly songs away. I can't stand them. And that doesn't move God either. People oftentimes come and say for the house, <laughs> said that, you know, said that, hey, your church is different from ours. Everybody to his own taste. No, no, that isn't it. This church is not built on my taste. This church is built on the Bible.